extravagant. Beautiful. How wonderful. Mm. Absolutely beautiful. Let's get on to the weather. Nice to welcome back Sam Fraser. Lovely to see Lovely you. Lovely to be here, Sal. Now, it started well this week, hasn't it? Well, it started well. It's mm. been a day of two halves. Let's take a look at the pictures. And it was a promising start in Shanklin. Look at that glorious sunshine. That was taken by Dave Brenchley. A romantic morning for these swans in Gosport, enjoying the sun. Uh, thank you very much, Tony Bailey. Then it got a bit more dramatic. Pangbourne, later in the day, Ian Crimp with the weir in full flood. Yes, it certainly did start well across the region. Plenty of sunshine to wake up to. This is how things looked in Southampton first thing. Thanks to our weather watcher for that. As we head into tomorrow, it's a very different story. It'll be much cloudier with some outbreaks of light rain or drizzle at times too. So it was a wet end to today. And as we go through the next few hours, we're going to see further rain make its way across the patch. Some of that could be heavy at times. It'll be a windy night too, but very mild. Temperatures not dropping much below 8 Celsius. So it'll be a mild start tomorrow, but there'll be plenty of cloud around. And as you can see, again, some more light rain, perhaps some drizzly outbreaks for a time. As the day wears on, I think that'll ease off. We'll start to see skies brighten a little bit. Certainly for northern parts of the patch, might even see a glimpse of sunshine. Top temperature tomorrow, a very mild 15 Celsius. Into tomorrow evening, again, we keep a lot of cloud. We'll see another spell of rain make its way across the patch through the course of the night, drying up by dawn. And a very mild night tomorrow, temperatures for many of us not dropping out of double figures. So looking ahead to Wednesday, and you can see on the pressure chart we're between two fronts. So we are expecting a drier day on Wednesday, some sunshine, it'll be fairly blustery too, but very mild. Into Thursday, things starting to feel a little cooler, some sunshine, but the chance to of some scattered showers. Looking ahead to the end of the week then, and for Friday, still some uncertainty about that at the moment, but it does look as though a weak ridge of high pressure will bring a drier day, more settled with some sunshine, feeling cooler. And then into the weekend, well, we're getting used to these wet weekends, aren't we? Unsettled once again as low pressure dominates, further wet weather on the way. So, looking ahead to the next few days, what can we expect? As I say, for tomorrow, a cloudy day, some strong winds picking up, westerly winds, um, but very mild for the time of year. 15 Celsius could be yours. A little bit cooler on Wednesday and Thursday, but still some bright spells, a chance to perhaps of some showers into Thursday. Friday, fingers crossed, a dry and more settled day, but for the weekend, well, you'll need the brolly once again, I'm afraid. So. Sam, thanks very much. Now, look at this. This award here. These are a bit special in the TV industry. It's the Royal Television Society uh, Southern Awards. And uh, we've got to be very special to win one of these beauties. So shall we just find out who has won something? First of all, up he came, sports journalist, best sports journalist. That's Tony. Well done. Oh, you you have made such a lovely speech too. Oh, very kind. Yeah, Lewis Coombs, best regional journalist. Fantastic. And then the big award of the night was South Today won the best programme, which was absolutely fabulous. And, of course, we should remember that all the people behind the scenes as well, of course, contribute to that massive number of people. Let's mention Ben Moore as well. He got best feature and Matt Graveling, self-shooter. Well, That's it from us. Thanks team. for watching. Good night. Good night. Good night.